Hello everyone, this is a speed test on the newly launched Amazing 4G network. It was launched last week, it runs on the Optus network and we're going to do three speed tests. First on the Optus server, then Telstra, then Vodafone. We are approximately half a kilometer away from the nearest cell station and the servers we will be testing are eight kilometers away in the Sydney CBD and we are currently located in Gladesville okay now I'm going to turn on the Wi-Fi just to show you our nearest location it will help with GPS to find our location so as you can see 85% 86% connection to the 4G LTE network okay let's have a look at our system as you can see it's a Samsung mobile phone Galaxy S4 mini and this is currently jailbroken sorry it has been rooted and now we're going to have a look at our location you can see the cell and our current location there we go and we are in sydney in gladesville right over here and eight kilometers away from sydney cbd okay let's turn off the wi-fi launch our speed test I'm currently recording at the same time so I will kill the network signal information program okay so let's do Optus network first change server no thank you okay waiting for the list to populate still nothing settings here we go so yes optus we'll do two tests and here we go speed test begin test ping time is 32 that's not bad it's 7 30 p.m it is a peak time as well let's say 43 megabits download not bad and upload around 24 or 25 oh 26 wonderful let's do another test nice that's 52 it is still considerably less 4G in theory should go up to about 100 or 98 you do get those speeds if you're in the Sydney CBD okay all right let's try another server so this was the Optus server let's go Vodafone here we go Vodafone HS in Australia I did get up to 75 few times on the Vodafone as you can see wow here we go 73 74 that's much much better it's interesting the phone is on the Optus, Optus network yes we get a higher download speed on a Vodafone 4G okay second test on the Vodafone Amazing is a budget network. Maybe we don't have access to full 4G capability of the Optus network. I'm not sure. 54, that's a bit less. 26. Okay, let's do Telstra. This is the first time I'm doing a test on the Telstra network. Let's see what it can do. Very high ping time. And it reflects the download speed we are getting. Quite poor.
Lamborghini just passed. No. Okay, quite poor performance on the Telstra network. Let's restart the test one more time. That's quite a poor performance again. That's on the Telstra network. If I had a Telstra SIM card, probably we will get much, much better uh, download speeds. We are not that far away from the signal, antenna signals, only half a kilometer. Okay, just for argument's sake, try one more different server, Digital Pacific. They generally have a very good um, network as well. There we go. Wow. Very low ping. Did much better than the Telstra network. Here we go. One more time. This time it managed to keep 50 megabits for a little bit longer, but it's dropped down again. Okay, let's have a look at the results. So the best result we had was on the Vodafone. The ping times were quite high, but it's still okay. Any other servers we can try? Anything useful? Vodafone we already tried. Why don't we try AAR net? That's a very big mirror. Here we go. We should get very good speeds for this. There we are. Now we are talking business. Nearly 70. I will probably upload this YouTube video using my phone instead of the TPG ADSL2 where I only get about 10 megabits a second. One more time. Nice, finally, 72. Yep, that's it. That's the result. So we're able to get comfortably above 60 most of the time, depending on location. And the ping times quite vary according to the network load at any given time. Uh, thanks for watching.